On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, more about using Bibles in ProPresenter 5 and 6. Hi and welcome again to the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you with the software that we use in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host, and I'd love for you to ask your question, so just do that below the video. Well, one thing that uh, I've thought about ProPresenter for a long time is that there was just a problem with the Bible app. Well, um, well let's just head over to my computer and uh, we'll take a look. Okay, so one thing that has never made any sense to me whatsoever is I was under the impression that you couldn't add multiple Bible passages into ProPresenter. Didn't make any sense at all. Turns out I was totally wrong. You can do it. I just didn't know how. So I'm sorry about that, but let me show you how to do it now that I've figured it out. So first off, we go into Bibles. Let's load this up and see what we get. Okay, uh, let's search for a Bible passage. Acts 26, 24. Okay, this is uh, my life verse. So now let's go down here. You see, save as document copy to current document or save as selected playlist slave save to selected playlist rather okay so let's save it to the current uh, to the selected playlist just to do that okay and now you see that it's down here huh so that's good but let's also explore these other two options Save as document. What happens when we do that? Um, I'm just thinking of random scripture trying to uh, test this out. Save as document. Okay, so save as document apparently puts it in the library and copy to selected playlist puts it in the playlist. Copy to current document. So current document is, let's go to Acts here. Okay, now let's do First John 3.16. Okay. And now let's save this, or copy to current document. Aha! So, that's what those three do. Save as document puts it in the library. Copy to current document puts it in whatever you're working in and save to selected playlist puts it by itself in the playlist. Brilliant. This is clearly something that makes a lot more sense. It's much easier to use than I thought. So uh, we can do that. Now, so once we've got these here in the playlist or um, also up here, either way, so um, Let's actually bring up this one. Okay, Acts 26, 24. Now let's quit, quickly edit slide. As he thus spake for himself, Festus said with a loud voice, Paul, thou art beside thyself. Much learning doth make thee mad. As I say, my life verse. So, uh, now I have a lot of leeway here. 
So I could um, take this and I can make it bigger if I want. I can make it italicized if I want. Well, it worked last night, but you get the point. So now you can actually edit this and play with these things um, and just do what you want with the Bible text as opposed to just bringing it up in the Bible app and showing that and just kind of being stuck and so there's two ways to interact with the Bible you could either you know someone last second comes up and starts writing that you can do that or you can use it as you're adding in your sermon notes um, or add in a passage ahead of time into your playlist either way to do it and that is a much better way of interacting with the Bible in ProPresenter 6, and it actually works the same way in 5. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that th now it's clear exactly what's going on with the Bible app and how the, you can do a whole lot more than maybe you even thought. Uh, I know that I had been recommended recommending for a long time that people go to Bible Gateway or something like that, and Really, you don't even need to do that. And I just want to apologize to the people at Renewed Vision because I thought that you'd either drop the ball or maybe there was a rights issue that you just couldn't get past. But nope, not the case. So thanks for doing all the work that you've done and thanks for making this feature something that makes the Bible app even more useful. If you like this content, you'd probably like my email newsletter, so by all means, head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S, and there you can pick up a copy of my email newsletter and some free church tech gifts as well. You'd also like my uh, store, including one of the really cool things that I've just launched, Church Tech U. Yeah, at Church Tech U, uh, I have all my content available, including stuff that's normally paid for. So once you get a membership to that, you can uh, get, you can more than recoup the cost of the membership by uh, just taking uh, a look at all the content, including my video course, my pro presenter trainings, and you get. Uh, immediate access to me and a whole community of other people to help with uh, the problems that you're running into. So head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash store and uh, look into that or head over to churchtechu, just the letter U, dot com. That's C-H-U-R-C-H-T-E-C-H-U dot com. And that's where that's located. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity.